Hello, CFFs. Hello, my Christian friends and family. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Saturday? As usual, I am here to set up my Sunday prayerful planner page. And I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. What a blessing you are to our lives. My own mother is um, has passed away, but it's not a single day that goes by. I don't think of her and miss her. Um, I just really appreciate the things that she taught me. Um, just everything. <laughs> from simple things to the most difficult things. And um, there's just something about mom or mama, <laughs> uh, whatever you call her, mom, mum, mama, mommy. <laughs> I tell you, so when I don't respond to my daughter, she's like that little um, cartoon that you see or I don't know what do you call it, uh, Mims, or and she stands there, or she'll text, and she's going, "Mom, mom, mama, mommy, mommy, mom, mom," <laughs> until I respond. <laughs> I told her, I said, "I'm sure someone heard you say that, and they put it <laughs> in a cartoon." Um, because she's good at saying that. Um, she cracks me up. But now that she has kids of her own and they are grown and one is getting ready to head off to college, uh, I'm sure she, she understands why I would say, could you please stop calling my name? I'm not mom anymore. <laughs> but she wouldn't care. Mom, mommy, mama, mommy. So I hope everyone is having a really blessed, blessed Mother's Day, or you're going to have a blessed Mother's Day. So I'm sending a big shout out to all the moms out there that hold it down 24 7, seven days a week. 365 days a year. Man, I tell you, it's not easy. But hey, I'm going to set up my page. As I said, I hope you're having a beautiful Mother's Day. I hope you've uh, had flowers or they're sending you flowers. They're taking you out to dinner. And I really want to suggest that you love on yourself today before all the stuff gets started. Love on you today. Love on you. Take some time out to pamper yourself before you get busy with this Mother's Day. We thank God for all the mothers, I tell you. So today I want to um, set up my page and I am going to be working out of Chic Spring, Live Love Posh. Hello Spring, Live Love Posh. Amber Plans Her Day Bible Journaling Essentials, Volume 2. And if I do use any boxes, they will be coming out of Mojo Jojo Plans, The Fall Rainbow, Fall, blah, 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 blah. Fold rainbow boxes. I'm in love with these boxes. I love them, love them, love them. So let's get started. I'm not really going to hold you very long. It's not a um, um, going to be anything um, out of, um, or should, I wouldn't say out of the ordinary. Um, not going to be anything elaborate. So let's just see what we're going to start our page off with. And 
sends Mother's Day, they send flowers. It's the best thing they could send to me, <laughs> would be flowers. And I'm loving the spring flowers, and it is still spring. So let's find some cute little ladies and some flowers. And you know, I think I'm going to start with... Let me start with a word, a phrase. This is out of um, Amber Plants Her Day Bible Journal Journaling Essentials. Let me get up to, uh, let's see. I was looking for a, um, a quote from, um, Proverbs 31, be the Proverbs 31 woman. Her price is far above rubies. Why? Because women, I tell you, there's no amount of money or it's a hard, it's a hard job. It is a hard job being a mom and some some of us had to be single moms and um, we had to do it on our own. But by the grace of God and his mercy, um, we made it through. We made it through. So we thank God for that. I was a single mom for quite some time. But... Um, I thank God that I made it. I thank God for both of my daughters. Um, one lives close and one not so close, but I thank God for both of them. Um, trying to find a quote uh, from here. And I thought I seen one. And I want to use that. So, of course, you know, each page has two. So, I can do all things through Christ. So, what are you doing today? What will you be doing on this blessed Mother's Day? Um, I hope your family is around. If not, I hope you're able to talk to them and spend a little time with them. I'm going to use this fearfully and wonderfully made. Because yes, we are. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. God did not make a mistake when he made women. <laughs> oh. And he gave us the strength uh, am I getting this up? He gave us the strength to do everything we needed to do. So thank God for that. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Although my focus is, you know, I am going to use a box. I mean, I, first I said no. And then, but I am going to use a box. Let me see what color I want to use. Not gold. Not... We are beautifully, beautifully made. And we have strength. We have a lot of strength. Even when we feel like we can't go on, God has ingrained in us things that help us continue to go on. And when we feel like we're at the end of our rope, <laughs> that is when we find out just how strong we are. And you never know how strong you are until you've been through something. 
I seen that somewhere. Someone was talking about that. And they said you never know really how strong you are until you went through something. I'm going to put this here. I'm not going to try to white anything out because okay, it's already let me see fearfully we are fearfully all of us men and women are fearfully and wonderfully made but today we're focusing on mothers so we're going to stick with mothers and let me see i just want to find something really cute i don't think i want to go into that one i hope you guys are doing something wonderful today i hope that you are your day is going to be filled with love and joy and laughter. And I'm going to put this here. And I pray that you have, you get all the love and, and appreciation from your family. And they appreciate you. I'm sure they do every single day. You know. But this one day out of the year. As I said. Take some time for yourself. Before you even get your day going. Take some time. Uh, meditate. Do some meditation. Or. Um, give yourself a hot bubble bath. You know. Just. Spend some time with you. Spend some alone time. You know what I mean? Spend some alone time. And just relax. And just let all your cares melt away. Think about all the beautiful things <clears throat> that you would like to do or things that you have done and just enjoy that time with yourself just really just enjoy some alone time it's okay it is okay to have some alone time it really is and I'm not going with any particular color scheme. Um, I was looking for some ladies that I could put on here since it's Mother's Day to represent the mothers. Well, here's some. I think I'm going to use these two. They're cute. This one here. For all the mamas. These mommies. Enjoy. Take some time for yourself. Pamper yourself. Love on yourself. You recognize that you deserve it. <laughs> yes, you do. You deserve it. Do not let anyone tell you any different. You deserve to be loved on on this special day. You deserve it. So let's see. I said I wasn't going to use a lot of flowers, but... I really want 
use. I could be a little biased, but I believe that flowers, or should I say women, are God's flowers. Yes, we are. We are God's bouquet. Bouquet. How do you say it? Bouquet, bouquet. Let's see. I want to put this here in the middle. And so I want to take this out. I believe we are God's bouquet. And we deserve a little time to ourselves, a little pampering time. So let me know in the comments what you guys are doing. My CFFs, my Christian friends and family, what are you guys going to do on this Mother's Day? Are you spending it with family and friends? Are you spending it with your children? Are your children even um, close around? Are you traveling? What are you doing? on this beautiful Mother's Day. I want that right here. Yes, I did it good. I want that right there. And um, I like these ladies, but I wish they had them in clear. I wish they had some clear. Really do. I don't have any clear. Very few clear in this book. I really not I said I wasn't going to be a long time. But I really like Live Love Posh. If you have not tried out her sticker books, please do so. You will love it. I love the florals. And I was looking at a I think that Pretty. I like that. Okay. So let me find. I always have such a mess going on <laughs> on my desk. It's like I have to give up my office room. And so. I am in, I cleared a space here. Oh, I think I like that. I don't know. I think I do. Now I want to pull it up. So I had to give up my office room. I had my office in one of the bedrooms, and I had to give that up. And so, oh. This is not going to, I'm not going to, okay, it's not cooperating, so it was meant to be this way. There are no mistakes, as someone told me. There are no mistakes. Everything is meant to be the way it is. So, I'm going to leave that like that, and I'm not going to worry about it. And I can get a book. Uh, one more. I don't think I'm going to put any more boxes. I put that one box. And I think that's all I'm going to put. And a few more of these little flowers. I really like them. They're so, and they're on clear. 
I love it when the flowers are on clear. cute. I feel like I need something here. I feel like let's abandon. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to cut this. Oh, here it is. I'm so uncoordinated. As you can tell, I'm in deep concentration <laughs> trying to get this up off of here. Okay, it is up. I've cut it so I'm committed to really putting this down now. Get my little whiteout pen here. Go. So, yeah, I would love for you guys to comment below. Tell me what you're doing today. Are you going out for dinner? Is family and friends over? Are your kids visiting? Are you traveling to visit your kids? What are you doing on this Mother's Day? It's so cute. I think it's cute. At least I think it's cute. So I am wrapping up this video. I just wanted to come on and do my pages. My well, my page for this Mother's Day. As you know, I record on Saturday. So it is really warm here today. We're supposed to be up in the 90s all next week. And so we are very warm here. Very, very, very warm. And I was talking to someone today earlier and they were saying that the allergies the season because of the pollen and everything here in the central valley you have a lot of orchards and farmlands and so you have people planting and um you know everything's blooming and pollinating and <laughs> so allergies if you don't have them, when I moved here, I found out I got, I had allergies. <coughs> Excuse me. But moving from the Bay Area to the Central Valley uh, was a big adjustment for me because the Central Valley is more like country site. And I'm used to the big city. And so Although the Bay Area is only uh, about an hour away, so you can drive there. But um, I was not used to all the dust and, you know, the farming and people plowing their fields and all the trees blooming and, oh my goodness, it was, it was a big adjustment. So, but she was stating, uh, the person I was talking to, was stating to me that her allergies was crazy. And so my allergies was bothering me. My eyes were itchy and I was just like, oh, 
this heat and this weather, I tell you. So it's going to be nice um, to go on um, our cruise here in a few weeks. And we're driving to Long Beach because Long Beach is only five hours away. So we're driving down um, to Long Beach from where the ship will be leaving from. So uh, I'm hoping that once I get out on the ocean, I will breathe better. My asthma won't bother me. And I won't have itchy, runny, <laughs> scratchy eyes. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But I digress. I am so um, happy for this Mother's Day. I hope you guys will have a beautiful day full of all of God's blessings. And I hope it's filled with love and joy and peace. I hope you're able to spend time with your moms. I hope your kids come and spend time with you. And so I just want to say happy Mother's Day to you. And I know you can find some good in your day today. So find three good things. You'll probably find four or five things. See if you can find those things. I know you will. And um, write them in your journal, put them in your planner. Um, write it on a piece of paper, put it on the wall where you can read it. Something that puts a smile on your face, warmth in your heart, and brings joy to your soul. Find the, that in your day today. And so, happy Mother's Day. This is my Mother's Day page so far. So, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And for those of you who your mom has passed on, like my mom, um, I hope your memories and what you what, what you remember will put a smile on your face and put that warmth warmth in your heart, and that you will have fond fond memories. And maybe even laugh at some. <laughs> I can think about my mom and laugh at some of the memories that we made together. So until next time, have a blessed and wonderful Mother's Day. Bye, guys.